Buds Tonic here guys, got another review for y'all today. Uh, this ain't an optic review, this is a gun cleaning review. Uh, had these people, Fiachi, reach out to me and ask me what I'd do a review on their product. Uh, we're going to be reviewing some boar snakes today, guys. Uh, this is a four pack. Yeah, four pack. Uh, today I'm going to show you a demonstrator on my 300 blackout, my uh, 1911, my MP40, and my SIG M18 9mm. So, I got it sent in, it came in a box, had all my personal information, that's why I didn't want to show you up to y'all. Uh, this is it right here. Oh yeah, this is it right here. Uh, I mean, tells you all your calibers right here, what it fits. Uh, it's item number X002MNRLLZ. Uh, they're brand new, like I said, uh, Fiachi is the name brand. So let's uh, open this up, see what we got going on, guys. So, yo, know, yeah, this is a three pack. Sorry, I said four, but it's three pack. The first one is a is a GO4, does 30 cal, 308, 30 out 6, 300, 303, and 7.62 millimeter. That's the first one. We're gonna use it for that 300 blackout. Uh, the next one uh, is a GO2. This is does uh, 22 caliber, 223, and 556 five, is what they're saying. That's they're all separate. I like how they're labeled. And these ain't stickers either, right here, guys. This is actual labeled into it, which are nice. And the next one is a GO3. It's a 38 cal, a 357, a 380, and a 9 millimeter. A 9 millimeter. Like I said, I got two nines. And I have a 40 here, and the 40 I think should go with the uh, 7, 7 to the 30 caliber, pretty much. That would work with the 40. So we're gonna go on to the guns. Tell y'all they're all unloaded, as you can tell. Uh, pull the magazines out of them. Matter of fact, there's nothing in them. They're all empty. There's zero, nothing in them. Like I said, zero, nothing in them. By the way, I got a review coming on that. And uh, wait, go back. Here goes big boy. Nothing, as you can tell, there's nothing in them. So, first things first, we're gonna go after this uh, nine millimeters first, okay? We're gonna put this 40 off this side. So we're gonna use the GO3. Let's go ahead and unravel it, see what it looks like. Okay, I like that it has a little, you know, I guess a little weight, little brass weight on the end of it, which is nice. I mean, that's firmly in there, it ain't coming out. Uh, this kind of reminds me of the, uh, ones that you pick up at like academy and everything i'm trying to think the name of them if y'all if i'm sure you know what i'm talking about y'all link it down below the uh name of it it's totally slipped my mind i got one of those so okay wow yeah that's nice so it's even got a pull so once you get through it you want to pull it that's nice uh got a nice brass you know Pretty nice right there guys it's even got a puller on there don't worry the pool so I'll tell you how some people do this okay like i said there ain't nothing in that one this one's unloaded there ain't nothing in it so this is how i do it i take it i drop it down in there like this drop it keep dropping it so it comes down here like this and then i pull it through and you see it just, just keep on pulling it. That's all you got to do is keep on pulling it back and forth. Just back and forth. That's all you got to do. A lot of people, I like going through the magazine well, but a lot of people run it through like this too because it's a lot easier to pull, as you can tell right here. So, 
like ripping it back and forth. And then once you're done with it, guys, pull it on through. Uh, let's see, you know, let's, uh, let's see what this thing's all about here. Let's, let's see how nice and clean it is. down in that see if you can see down in that bore uh, I wish y'all can really see it a lot better but yeah it really cleaned it up like I said guys this is just the you know initial just to clean the barrel as you can tell uh, it's already pretty much oiled up already uh, So, I mean, look, look, nice and shiny, definitely. So that one's clean, uh, real pretty, nice and pretty and shiny. Right now, you know, is the time to be cleaning all your ramps and slides, but, you know, right now I'm not, you know, I just pretty much cleaned this gun. This is, you know, the, uh, So that one's clean. That one is clean, ready to roll. Cleaned up, ready to roll with it. So, let's go on to the next one, guys. So, we're done with that one. Now, my 1911, I kind of hate, you know, cleaning it because it's so hard to break down with the confiscator in the front of it. Uh, yes, everyone asked me, oh, does it really work with, yes, it does. Yes, it does. They got that magazine out for this one. This one has a two pound trigger on it. It's more of a competition gun. Uh, like I said, going to more reviews on all this stuff, y'all just give me a shout in the comment section. So we're gonna run this. We're gonna run it through right here, see. And I know this one's filthy, guys. I know for a fact this one's filthy because I've ran steel case through it. Let's do this. Oh yeah, this one's, this one's real, 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 real dirty. You can tell by the way the, by the way it looks. All right, I'm just gonna pull it through because I pulled it out too far. Well, I like this. I like how you can do, use this one for multi-purpose. You just don't have to use it just on, you know, your, your rifle or your handguns. Uh, this is the way I do it. I just keep yanking them back and forth. You know, especially when you use a lot of lead core bullets, that's where this comes in handy at. These rigids right here come in real, real good handy. But that one right there, guys, that one's real clean. Uh, hope you can probably see that. Pretty clean. Uh, like I said, I really try not to fire this one locks. I hate taking apart. It is a son of a gun to take apart. We're going to the next one. So far, I'm highly impressed, man. This thing is real stout. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, look at that. It's real stout, guys. It's real nice. So the next one we're gonna do is the 30 caliber 300 blackout. We're gonna do a rifle on that. We're gonna do that right now. Like I said, I'm unboxing or undoing this as now. I kinda like how they got them, you know, torn weaved and torn through here it's real nice uh so what we're gonna do is is we're gonna come through here and we're gonna do this one okay guys this is the big boy right here so y'all bear with me it's kind of hard to do let's see i love that weight they could just feed it down through there that is nice Okay, it should be weaving through there. It goes right there, look at that. Let's see that right there. So, let's straighten it out. Like I said, let's get it over here. Like I said, I got a couple 
probably a thousand rounds through this one. I'll shoot it the other day with some reloads I got. So I know it's dirty. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's dirty. It's real dirty. So, ah, this is nice. Real nice and firm. You know, it's really clean and really good. And guys, I really, like I said, I keep repeating, repeating myself. That's nice. So if it gets stuck in there, you can just yank it out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm sure you can oil this. A lot of people, they do oil them. Uh, I don't because, you know, you've got to work with it later and it gets all oily. Usually just show up, you know, I got a clean rod with some oil on the end of it. That's what I do. So the next one we're going to do is a 40. Okay, let's get this bad boy out of the way. Y'all want to see more review on that? Just let me know. The next one is a 40. I'm going to go ahead and do the same one here on it. And we go from there. Uh, like I said, we're going we're gonna to run through it right here. And they do have a multiple pack, guys, you know, for the price. I'm going to link this down below, this this whole set of the, all three of these right here. These, the, all of this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link it all down below in the comment section and in the info tab. And this right here, see, it's still tight coming through it, too. You see what I'm saying? So it's not like, you know. And this thing right here, it's, you know, I've got about a thousand rounds to this thing too, so. All right, so, oops, sorry about that, I hit the tripod. So there goes the 40. Uh, let's, let's try to, let's take it apart real quick. I'll show y'all real quick. I'll show y'all just real quick here. Like I said, none of these firearms are loaded. Uh, for YouTube purposes, okay, that is down. Okay, for YouTube purposes, it is not loaded. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull back on this. There we go. There she goes. I hate to mess with part. It is a booger sometimes. There we go. As you can tell, like all my guns, I hold them really good. So, look at that. Hope y'all can see down in that. That is really nice and clean. Uh, my feed ramp, yeah, as you can probably tell, I did a little work to my feed ramp. I polished those. So guys, y'all go give these guys a look right down Amazon and uh, you know you uh if you're looking for some boar snakes there's the guys to go to right there uh, they are quality for sure so you know, I'm impressed you know I just clean all I just clean four guns in less than 15 minutes my barrels so it's better than driving a rod up in it but like I said, you get three. I got the three pack. Uh, I didn't use a 223 one because it's actually out. Using it, doing a review on it as we speak. Guys, I got more reviews coming at you. Uh, the link will be, be down below to purchase this. I know I already said that. Y'all be safe, and I'll see you on the next one.